Hi everyone. So today I will be talking about LRD, which is an R package that can be used to quickly process lexical response data. So recall testing is commonly used to gauge memory retrieval. However, coding the responses from these tests can be time intensive and often prone to errors. So LRD has been designed to automate scoring of recall data. Specifically, this package can handle data from queued recall studies, free recall studies, and it can even process sentence responses. So this package consists of three core functions, one for each of those three types of data. And the package also contains several plotting functions. These can be used to create serial position curves, compute the probability of first response, etc. So the package is currently available via GitHub. And to install it, you can get it through using the DevTools package. So starting with queued recall, queued recall data is handled via the prop correct queued function. So this function takes all the input as a data frame. This data frame will need to contain a column with the participant responses, an answer key column, the answer key column will also need to have an additional column with item numbers. You'll need a column containing um, unique participant identifiers. You'll need a column containing item numbers for the study pairs. You will also need to specify a cutoff value used for scoring. So LRD uses a Levenstein distance for scoring. This value can range between 0 and 5 with a cutoff of zero being the strictest, so everything would have to match, and a cutoff of five being the most lenient. Additionally, this function gives you the option to flag any outliers, so it'll flag any participants proportions correct that are above or below three standard deviations for the mean. And finally, you can have the option to group output by an experimental condition. So when you run this function, the first thing it's going to give you is the trial level data. So you'll see each participant, uh, what they typed for each trial, what they were supposed to type, and whether or not it was scored as correct. Next, you'll get their proportions of correct responses. So in addition to these proportions, you'll also get a z-score for each participant relative to other members of their experimental condition if you specified one and also relative to all of the other participants in the sample collapsed across experimental condition. All right, the next function is for scoring free recall. So prop correct free is structured very similarly to the queued recall function. Uh, the one thing to note here is that for the free recall data, the data is going to need to be structured in long format. Now you can easily convert your data from wide format to long format using the arrange data function that is included with this package. Once you run prop correct free, you'll again first get the trial level data. And then again, you'll get each participant's proportion of correct responses. Finally, you can use prop correct sentence to score sentence data. This function is again set up like the other two. The main difference here is that you'll also need to specify the token split. All this is, it's just what character separates the words in each sentence. Generally speaking, this is going to be a space. Once you run this function, you'll again get the trial level output first. This is formatted mostly like the others, but it has a few additional outputs. So this output will also give you the shared items between the participant's response and the answer key. It'll also show you any items that the participant left out of the sentence in the omitted items column, and the extra items column will show anything extra that the participant typed. And again, this function will give you each participant's proportion of correct responses and those corresponding z-scores. All right, so in addition to an R package, LRD also is available as a Shiny application. This is available via GitHub. And for the next part of this talk, I'm going to do a very quick demonstration of the Shiny application. All right, so when you first open up the Shiny application, you'll be on the information page. 
Over on the left-hand side, you'll see four other tabs. Three of these correspond to each of the scoring functions, and the top one is the arranged data where you can convert your wide format data into long format. The three scoring tabs are, are structured similarly. So for purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna focus primarily on the queued recall one. So when you click on this tab, you'll first be presented at the top with an area where you can upload your data files. So you'll need to upload your, your data file that contains the participant responses along with the trial numbers and the participant identifiers. That'll go at the top. And you'll also need to upload a data file containing the answer key. Now the participant data and the answer key can be in the same data file. All you'll need to do is just upload the same file twice. Once you upload these, uh, the check your data area will populate with the data frames. You can just look through here and this will just, this is just to make sure that everything imported correctly. After you've checked your data, you'll then go down here to the scoring setup area. So in this section, these will auto populate with the participant or with the uh, column headings from your data frame. Just click on these and make sure to select the right ones. So, the so for this one, I picked the response column as my response, key for the answer key, et cetera. After selecting the column headings, you can choose a column to group your data by. So I'm gonna group by condition. Once you select that, you then choose your scoring cutoff. I'm gonna use a Levenstein distance of one for my scoring. And then finally, you can check the box down here to flag for outliers. After setting everything up, go ahead and click score your data. Once it scores, everything's going to import down here at the bottom and you'll have the trial level, the proportion corrects, and you'll get a graph based on the condition level stuff. So in conclusion, LRD allows researchers to quickly score several types of recall data. And overall, the goal of this package is to provide a standardized open source method for processing lexical output across psychological studies. All right, at this time, I'll be able to take any questions.